Back in May of 2022, a groundbreaking ceremony was held for the upgrade of the Nago Bank Road located just outside of Maskell Village in the Belize District. Fast forward to today, the area now boasts a little over three miles of a climate-resilient main road through the community. So why was the upgrade necessary? Well, the farming community of Nago Bank is referred to as the vegetable basket for the Belize District. According to the CEO of the Ministry of Agriculture, Food Security and Enterprise, access roads are a necessity for agricultural producers. Not only for them to be able to access their farms and, and you know, in terms of their, their, their production, but also for, for our extension officers, for our cooperative officers, for the RRB personnel to come out here. I mean, it's, it's, an access road is so important. Um, when their products are also ready for market, for them to be able to take it out. I remember um, almost well, right after 2020 when we came back the first time, that road was such a disaster. In fact, they said when it, was, when it was raining, you couldn't come back here. I mean, water would get you up to your hip. So imagine now when you see this road, the, the, how it will facilitate the movement of people coming in and coming out. It has become one of the, one of the main productive areas. And I must say, not only in Nagobank, but this area of the Belize district. You have this, this cooperative here, Nagobank, the Pequenos Agricultores y Ganaderos. You also have the Bomba um, Cooperative and the Oriana Brothers. And those two areas have become very, very productive. That they supply most, I would say, I want, want to say most of the vegetables to the Belize district. They supply quite a large portion of the market in even San Pedro. And I understand that some of their products now are even getting to Orinjoak and even to, um, to Belmont Pants. Farmers that were neglected and that are producing quality products is definitely telling us that Belize has prioritized food security. Secondly, it will increase economic activity because we know you will have uh, big trucks that can come all the way here to pick up the products and take them to the different markets. The upgrade of the Nago Bank Road is the first infrastructure project under the Resilient Rural Belize program. It is a $40 million program funded through a partnership between IFAD, the Green Climate Fund, and the government of Belize. The CEO of the Ministry of Economic Development, Dr. Osman Martinez, says that climate change has been affecting the agro-productive sector. Climate change has a mega appetite to the point that is swallowing not only the coastal areas and not only creating issues in the blue economy, which is the marine life, but it's also swallowing the agro-productive sector. Infrastructure has become a huge issue now because all the infrastructure development has to be done under a climate resilience um, a system. But it also has been swallowing climate, uh, the, the, the mega appetite of climate change have swallowed the limited resources within the government where uh, almost an average of 4% of our GDP is being lost because of the impacts of climate change. The cost of the road was approximately $1.7 million. The contract was awarded to Tycrub and Sons Limited, who completed the project in just under nine months. CEO in the Ministry of Infrastructure Development and Housing, Victor Spat, spoke about delivering on the commitment. We came to assure one and all that the Nagobank Road would be upgraded to a two-lane gravel surface road, complete with installation of concrete culverts and improved drainage to ensure all-year access to the farmers and residents. This road project was led to open tender in accordance with the procurement regulations of IFAD and the government of Belize. Based on the evaluation of tenders received, Tycrob and Sons was found to have submitted the lowest evaluated tender and won the award of contract to upgrade the Nagobank Road. The contract sum was for $1.7 million and the initial time of completion was six months, including a defects liability period of three months. Dwayne Moody for News 5.